Global Stage uses a unique dual student book approach. It brings together a language program with an engaging literacy program. Global Stage has excellent online materials in Navio, the Macmillan online platform. As a teacher with the Teacher's App, you have everything you need at your fingertips to do online classes. In Tap and Teach, you can organize all of the online activities, the teacher's notes, there's a progress tracker to track your students' progress, extra resources, and all of the assessments. It's all in one place to help you plan, prepare, and make your online classes more organized and purposeful. Let's go into Tap and Teach for Unit 8, Global Stage Level 3. Here we can filter activities by adding or leaving them out of our lesson so that we can get organized and ready for our online and face-to-face -face classes. How do we decide which activities to use and which to leave out? This will depend on the learners you have and the overall aims for the lesson. But, as a rule of thumb, make sure your online classes involve participation and provide a balance of active and quiet activities. Divide your time into chunks and decide how you will distribute the activities. Introduce some fun, game-like elements to break up the pace of the class. Remember, it's hard for young students to concentrate for long time. So, for example, use the flashcards activity as part of the live online lesson. You can ask students to use the student app to do individual activities outside the live class to practice recognizing individual words. Your students can watch videos and read texts outside class as preparation for in-class questions. Watching the videos at home before the lesson allows students to engage with the content in a way that suits them and allows them to pause and re-watch as many times as they want and need. The longer fiction and non-fiction texts from the literacy book are ideal for out-of-class work and one of the texts always comes with a video. Use the video to get your students really thinking and interacting with the text.